Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Benelli. Now, our topic today is how to change the mood of an afternoon photo to dusk. So sometimes as photographers, we don't have the luxury of just picking when the sun is going to come out, when it's going to duck behind the cloud, um, when it's going to set. Now, what we can do is kind of anticipate for that. So we can say, okay, you know what? We really want to make a really nice afternoon photo. So we'll go in the afternoon, but we're not quite sure what we're going to be faced with. And sometimes, like in a case like this, you're driven with one vision for the photo shoot. And then you you decide after you go to edit it, oh man, I really wished I photographed this late at night. And that's what happened with this photo. And I thought it'd be a great learning lesson. But let me switch over so you can see what we're going to do. So here's the orig- here's the image with Lewis. This is the original image. Look at that. That's a huge difference. No pun intended, night and day. All right, that's a huge difference with that image. So after I started editing it, I realized, oh man, I really wished I had Lewis in a different mood um, or a different setting and created a mood. So I wish I had him holding an iPad or a book, or maybe have his girlfriend across his lap and they're lost in the moment, that would make this perfect. But what Luminar did for me was it gave me the vision of what I needed. Now, when I do the reshoot, I can either go back to the same uh, the location at the same time of day or reshoot it at dusk, all right? Now, before we begin, we do wanna thank our, our sponsor, our partner, Fuji Films, for helping with these episodes. And Fuji wants to remind us, stay safe, stay creative, and stay at home. And we have a lot of special guests here. Mike Cabasi from Hollywood. You often hear me talk about him quite a bit. And Cabasi, um, he's one of the one of the photographers that I go to collaborate on ideas with and he's been helping me for the last God knows how many years um, and we both bounce ideas back and forth off each other he's a master of lighting so Mike thank you so much for joining us um, let's see who else we have here Gerald Inch from Chicago oh thanks so much all right guys I really appreciate that all right so let's dive right in now <laughs> I actually edited this early this morning. So in doing so, when I do stuff like this, instead of writing down the recipes and all the stuff that I've done, I just create a look. And I created a look of this so I can always go back to see what I did or how I fixed it. But I want to show you exactly what I did with this. We used from the essential tools, light, the enhancer, and color. And of course, the detail enhancer. Then, from the, from the creative tools, we used uh, AI Sky Replacement, Mystical, and now this right here, Long Beach. Hey, no pun intended, Mike. Um, the LUTs is what's going to play a key role. Look at this. You see how that LUTs ties everything in? And LUTs are lookup tables. And I'm going to explain some of that. And for the portrait tools, of course, we used it because there's a portrait in here. And uh, for the advanced tools, we came in with the advanced contrast, which I'm falling in love with this tool. This is going to allow us to adjust just the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows all separately. And then the adjustable gradient. Look at this. I love how I can control the top and bottom half of the image. And then last, I'll show you what we do with the dodge and burn. Great, so now I gave you an overview of what we did. I'm gonna click on the history tool. Let me get the pointer going. And I'm gonna start all the way from the beginning. And actually I applied a couple crops to it. So let me just have a crop. Good, so there we are. Now, yes, I didn't light him as much as I wanted to. Because, no, because we were outside all I used was a diffuser on top of him 
and I photographed here. I would have loved to have some fill light on the Lewis, but I knew I could do this inside Luminar. All right, so let's begin. The first step, like I always do, is I click on the tools, or the, the looks, and then from the essential tools, or the essential looks, rather, I love starting with the AI Enhancer. Watch this. Just that one look is going to apply the essential tools that I always use. Light, AI Enhancer, and color. Before and after. I mean, look at that. Look at the sky. Before and after. Now, I'm going to replace the sky, but how cool is that? So let's analyze what we did. Light. I always love to enrich the blacks, so I dial the, back, the blacks back a bit. The whites, we move them forward. Highlights, this is going to affect globally all of the highlights in the shadows, the midtones, and, and, the, and in the, um, the highlights itself. It's going, to, it's going to affect that globally. Whereas the advanced contrast individually targets those areas. And then for AI Enhance, watch this. Look at this. Before and after. Just that one tool enhances uh, color, the detail, the tone, and the depth of the image. And now the color. So this is where we're going to begin our edits. So I looked at this, and I thought, okay, that grass, let's, let's change the saw grass. So I'm going to select green. And now I'm going to mess with the U. Look at that. Ooh. Saturation. I can bring it down a bit. And I can either make it brighter or I can make it darker. I like it like that. Look at that. Wow. I mean, so just by attacking that, look what we were able to do. And I like where that's looking. Right? So that looks good. Now I do want to add a little detail. To, to bring him out just a touch. I love working with the medium detail first, then punch up the soft or the small, and then the large. And now when you're working and looking at detail, try to zoom in at 100%. So I'm gonna look around here, let it self-processing. Good, look what we're doing here. I'm checking, on, or off, on. Look, see how it brought some of the texture back in his shirt, and a little bit more into his face. All right, so that's looking good. Now, let's get creative. All right, so from the creative tools, I'm gonna change that sky replacement. From here, we can come down, and I just uh, the first thing I did was I tried like a blue sky, realized that that's not gonna really do what I was looking for. So I decided to do some of the, the dramatic sunsets. Here's four. Mm, not happy with it. And I believe I settled on five. Oh, there we are. All right. I settled on five and I like five. Notice something right here on, on Lewis's shoulder. All right. Before, after. Look how... Look how the sky is bleeding through. Well, this is where the closed gap comes in. If I, in, if I push the gap out just a little bit, let's give it time. Look, it's doing it a little bit more. There we go. All right, so we got rid of that little gap that was on his shoulder because the color of his shoulder is blending in into the scene. But look, I, I want to do sliders before I jump down here and use the mask. Now the reason for that is I can create this as a look and apply it to every image in the set and not have to once do any of the masking. So that's the incredible power of AI. All right, so we have the sun set down. Now mystical is definitely gonna help us here. Watch, I'm gonna go to an extreme. Look at that. Look how it just makes everything nice and it's like, like a dreamy photo. So I'm going to dial it back. Good. That looks good. Okay, a little more smoothness to it. All right. You know what? I'm going to come back up to the colors for a moment. And actually, no, 
that sky replacement, I'm going to relight the scene a little bit. And let's see if that helps. By a little. Let's come back the other way. Yeah, you know what? So the relighting of the scene definitely is going to make things a little darker. Good. So let, let's, let's keep that in. But the color, I'm going to come back up here. And we're pinpointing the U, the color shift. Let's see, where were we? Oh, here we go. Um, right here. There we go. I, I like that better. All right, good. So I like that better. All right, and we're back to the creative. We did mystical. Now, here comes that Lutz. All right. I'm going to select Long Beach. There it is. Look look how that tied everything together. How cool was that? So I have that set now, but Lewis right here, I got to be careful. I, I just don't like, and I said this mistake earlier this morning. Let me, I'm going to rephrase it before I say it. I don't like how his face is too dark. Earlier this morning, I said, I like it. I just don't like his face. I love Lewis's face. What I don't like is, look how dark everything is looking. So, let's head over to the portrait tools. And now, look at this face lighting. Watch this. It's human aware. It knows exactly where his face is. So, let's not go that much. Let's go right about here. Good, we have that set. And now, I'm going to click on the advanced tools or the pro tools. And we'll do our dodge and burn. I'm going to start painting. Choose Lighten, and the Strength, I'm going to bring it down so we can build upon it to about, now let's go 20. Right about here, good. Let me turn off that highlighter. Now, to make my life easier, yeah, this is a drawing tablet, the Surface Workstation, so I'm going to draw on the screen. What I'm trying to do is... I want to kind of like outline uh, Lewis here. In fact, let me get the brush a little bit bigger. A little too big right here. Good. And I just want to come in. Look at that. And just paint some little light on him. Now, in doing that, on the screen it looks fine, but I'm looking on the monitor here, and I'm not in love with the around his head. So... I selected erase, and now I'm just going to come around and just erase around him. There we go. And then I could check it by toggling it on and off. Look at that. All right, I like it, except let's erase a little bit more on his pant leg. But I'm at 18%. Let's just go to half. All right, there we go, and just slip it on his arm. All right, and once again, lighten. There we go. All right, and click done to commit the change. And, and there we have it now. All right, so before and after. All right, now, and this may come, we may end up changing this again in a moment. Let's go to the advanced gradient, bottom, and I want to darken just the lower half of the scene. Look at that. And then set the orientation and bring it down just a bit. There it is. All right. Before, after. All right, that's looking really nice. And now let's go to our advanced contrast. All right, here we go with the highlights. Watch that, look at that. Look how, look how the highlights are bringing out, even like his pant leg, the mid-tones. Let's balance it. And of course the shadows. Yeah, good. Now in doing this, in doing this, I'm noticing Lewis's face is it's not looking. 
I almost said Lewis's face isn't looking normal. Again, that's not what I meant, Lewis. So I'm gonna come over here to the to the uh, AI um, enhancer again, portrait, and let's dial, there we go. I'm gonna dial it back just a bit, right about to there. I'm looking at the screen, all right, I like that. And we're set, good, good. Let me just double check everything. And here we are, all right? So we went from this to this in just a short time and we changed the mood, the overall mood of the image. Now, again, for me to reshoot this, I think I would have him reading a book or an iPad or he's lost in thought, maybe old fashioned pen and paper. Or uh, like I said, his girlfriend is just out there and just they're lost in, into each other. Because looking at this scene, it makes me look like a really nice place to go and just lose your thoughts. That's that's what would make this image just really be incredible. Because as it stands right now, I just see a good looking kid in the field. Why is he in the field? I have no idea. So that's something I think I would check out and look. All right, now let's look at some of the comments here. Um, <laughs> Mike Cabasi says, if I stay at home, the beach is awesome. Yeah, so there is a beach, which is only 15, 20 minutes from me. Um, hello, Rick from the UK. And good. Oh, that's right, in Fort Christmas. So my buddy Russell is saying, um, there's some shots in Force Christmas he's going to be looking at. Good. There we go. And a couple more. Awesome. Well, guys, hey, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And keep in mind, we're gonna, we do the coffee breaks on uh, daily at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And the second one is on YouTube. And that one, there, the first one's on Facebook. The second one's on YouTube. At 5 p.m. and then Angela, my co-partner on these, she she does it on the West Coast at 2 p.m. Pacific time um, on the West Coast, and that's on Facebook. All right. So once again, thank you for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow on the next Luminar Coffee Break.